Hi, welcome back. This is episode three now. I have gotten frustrated enough with the red coins that I'm just going to skip it for right now. We'll come back later. We're going to go to a different world. Um, mostly so that I don't rip my own hair out. Uh, we're going to go over here to this one on the right. Uh, that one required three. Um, we do have the eight stars. We need to go fight Bowser, but we're going to wait. Um, with my luck today, that's not going to go particularly well. So we're going to go over here. Um, there is another secret star in this in this area here. If you come over here, there's like a little black box up there. Um, you can flip up to it. And we're going to do that. Okay, come on. And we head in there for another secret star. Um, in this one, we are f swimming. Um, and there, it's just a red coin star. So you're just collecting red coins, but you're underwater. Oh, I missed that one. This one does not require me to tightrope walk, so I think we'll be okay. There's two. So the first four are just in like this ring here. Um, when you're swimming and you're underwater, your health does go down gradually over time. Um, that's just to simulate the idea that you're running out of oxygen. Um, however, if you get coins that replenishes your health so the more coins you collect the more health you have so i suggest just collect if you get all the red coins that should keep you alive long enough to get what you need to get um so we're gonna swim on over we're gonna collect them all there's a ring of them obviously at the level where you first enter the map and then each corner on the floor there's another four so that gets you to eight And then the star appears in the center. There it is. So we're gonna go grab that star. That'll be our second secret star. So that's cool. All right, and we pop out right in front of the portrait, which is right where we're gonna go. So let's hop in there. All right, here we are. We're in Jolly Roger Bay. Um, this first one's called Plunder in the Sunken Ship. Um, this is a water world, so you are going to be swimming a bit in here. Um, so we're going to start swimming. Um, the actual bay part is a little bit further out, so we're going to swim out a little bit further. And then we'll start diving um, to get to the get to the water or get to where we need to go because remember we're looking for a sunken ship so here we go we're gonna start diving um, there's our ship there is an eel sitting in the entrance to where you need to go so what you need to do is swim in front of him and he'll come out and try to get you let's see if he um, actually came out oh now I'm under the ship glitch that's not good Okay, well, we hopped out. We're okay. Did he Did he leave the ship? No, why would he not? Why would he do that? All right, we're running out of oxygen. We're gonna swim back up real quick. I'm gonna try this again. We need to get the... We need to get the eel to come out. So we're going to swim back down. We're going to swim right in front of him. We're going to make him want to come out and try to eat us. Because that's obviously what eels do. Oh, did he leave? It looks like he left. Sweet. Okay. Well, we can just go right into where he was then. So now we're in this treasure ch or in this chamber. Um, and there are treasure chests. Um, you have to hit them in the correct order. There's one. Um, when you ever pop up, when you pop one, an air bubble pops out. That's really important. Um, the next one I think is over here. Nope. Okay. So if you do it wrong, um, it resets, which is a bummer, um, and it zaps you, which takes some of your hit points away. So you have to go back to the front. You do get a new bubble every time though, which is nice. Okay. So it wasn't that one. So it's it's this one over here then. Okay, I swam past it. All right, we're gonna turn gently. There we go. Get our air bubble. 
Now it's this one over here. All right, number three. Okay, and then so the trick for this one is after you hit this fourth one, you're gonna wanna try to swim to the other side of the ship as far and as fast as possible. So you're just gonna start swimming. That's because the water is gonna start draining from the ship and up there is that block and that is where the star is. So if you swim fast enough, you can get up to a further part of the ship and not be stuck down there as far. Okay. Oh my goodness. Wow. Or you could just, you know, get all the way up there and then fall down like I did. That works too. Okay. So now you're just going to hop from barnacle to barnacle, I guess. I think these are supposed to be barnacles. If you can get up there even. Oh my gosh. I promise to you that I'm actually good at this game. It's not that I'm just incompetent, even though it may look like I am. Wow. Episode three might be pretty short, guys, <laughs> depending on how this goes. Okay, okay, come on now. What the, ooh, ho, ho. wow, all right. This is just going so well for me. I hope you guys enjoy watching me fail so hard because this is this is pretty. Oh my gosh! <sighs> Man, if these stars didn't have so much to do with walking and jumping. I think I'd be doing much better. There we go. We're going to take a different path. Because this one is clearly not working. All right. There we go. And of course, Lakuto is not helping with the camera angles here. Come on. Turn so I can see. Thank you. Oh my gosh. So I jumped at the wrong time, of course. <sighs> and here we are, still trying to get to the top of this boat. Get up there, thank you. So I hope you have better luck when you're doing this than I am. I can show you, you know, a hundred ways to not get up this boat. Not sure if that would really be helpful to any of you. Oh my god. Jump. I'm not joking. This, this took me maybe like three minutes the first time I did it. That's how long it should take you. But if you're an incompetent mess like me. It might take a little longer. Oh. All right. We're going to try doing it this way. There are my hands. There they are. I'm not going to use my controller anymore. Ah, behold, I can actually do this. Wow, that was hard. <laughs> All right, we made it. Woo! Well, that took way longer than it was going supposed to take. All right, well, good thing there's an easy one we can do. We'll do one more and then we're gonna call it, call it for this episode. Because I'm just too frustrated. 
Um, we are not going to do number two, um, although that is a pretty easy one as well. There is an easier one that we can do right this moment. We just have to get to that Bob ammo. So we hop up here, we can talk to our bob -omb friend. All right, he'll prepare the cannons for us. The cannon is over there in that wooden, um, or that wooden stone, stone pillar there. Um, we're gonna hop over to that. Uh, that's where the only cannon in this level is, is right over here. All right, we just gotta get on it now. There we go. All right, so we gotta hop in the cannon and we are going to turn and shoot um, at these pillars here. Um, now, I suggest to make it easier for yourself to just shoot at the closest one to the, to the wall here. All right, and then you wanna make sure you aim high enough that you actually hit the pillar apparently because that didn't happen. Okay. Change of plans. We're just gonna get the red coin star. No, we're not. That's too much work. We're swimming. All right, swimming again. We're gonna aim that cannon shot a little bit lower. We're actually gonna get on the thing this time. Uh, pretty sure this cannon one is like star five or something like that. Um, but running out of running out of patience, so we're just gonna get this one and be done with it. Um, All right, we're just gonna make sure the pillar is in sight when I shoot, so I actually hit it. There we go. And then we just wanna line up our backs. We always jump off backwards from pillars. And we're gonna jump, and we land, and here's the star, perfect, woo! All right, we did it. We we finished another level. Um, we got blast of the stone pillar. Um, we're gonna save and quit and be done. Thanks for watching again. See you in episode four.